Good news, everyone, Futurama just won't stay dead. The beloved, much-canceled sci-fi cartoon, created by Simpsons author Matt Groening has yet another lease on life, this time in the form of a 42-minute podcast, styled like an old-fashioned radio drama. The vintage format is in keeping with the show's own aesthetic, a harebrained collision of every possible sci-fi trope from Asimov to Zilozny. At its most basic, Futurama is a workplace comedy about a naive from the turn of the century who goes to work for a package delivery service a thousand years in the future, but within that already absurd framework, the show manages to explore every corner of sci-fi lore. Firefly 2 Futurama, the cancelled TV shows you are still angry about read more for a defunct TV show, it had runs on Fox and Comedy Central before its most recent demise, Futurama's following is still very enthusiastic and fans have already embraced its post-television video game incarnations. The new audio episode acts as this week's edition of Chris Hardwick's podcast, The Nerdist and the Show's Developer and showrunner, David the Tenth Cohen, found time to speak with The Guardian about overcoming the frustrations of the TV economy, how many chances you have to get a binary joke right, and coming back to the property, again, street, so this podcast is basically a full reunion, right? DXC, well, the game company Tinyka was adamant that they wanted to get the real DNA of Futurama in it, and have a real writer's room and have the original cast. They wanted to get the word out to the fans that the original cast and crew was working on this thing, and they said, well, what is a way to get it out to the fans that you're all working on this thing, and the game company said, well, is there any way we could make a new episode of the show? And we said, no, there's not. It will take a year, first of all, which is out of our timeline, and it will cost a prohibitive amount of money for a promotional thing. Then someone said, well, what if we don't animate it? And that suddenly caused me to have a dramatic flashback because about a year ago, I'd been talking with Chris Hardwick at some event and he'd said, would you ever consider doing Futurama as a radio show? And I said, well, sure, but it seems like kind of a difficult thing to pull together. I don't know who would organize it and stuff. And I knew Matt Groening was a big fan of old-time radio shows, as am I, Street, how do you make a cartoon work without any visuals? DXC, we have a great voice cast and they do very distinctive voices that I think you can pick out. We had to massage it a little bit, taking a cue from those old-time radio shows.